glad you joined us for another Apostles Pen. I believe this one's going to be a real blessing to you because we like dealing with life issues, certain situations that people are facing and trying to show them God's solution in the circumstances that, they went, that they're in and sh also show them God's method for coming out. So we're going to talk today, we're going to teach some things today concerning overcoming your issue. Whatever your issue might be, because we all got something that we're dealing. We all have something that's greater than us. We all have something that we, in a lot of cases, don't have the answer for. But I want you to know, God in his word has given us the solution. All we have to do is let God speak to us. Let God, God's Holy Spirit direct our path, and he will give us victory and overcome the issues of life. I want to read from today from Mark chapter 5, the story concerning this woman who had an issue of blood. In other words, her situation was she had a bleeding situation in her body for 12 years, and we're going to see how she overcome her issue. And the same method that this woman overcome her issue is how you will overcome your issue. And we're going to we're going to talk about some issues today because I know everybody's dealing with situations, you're in circumstances that you don't have the answer for, and I want you to know God has victory for you over that issue, regardless of what it, all, what it is. Now in Mark chapter five, I'll start with verse number 25. Mark 5, 25. It says, a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many positions and had spent all that she had and was nothing the better, but rather grew worse. But when she heard of Jesus, she came in the press and touched the hem of his garment for she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. And straightway the fountain of blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned in the press and said, who touched my clothes? And the disciples said unto him, thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and see, and saith thou who, who touched me? And he looked around to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. This woman had a situation. She, she had an issue that was chronic. When I say chronic, uh, something that's chronic is a situation that's negative, that's destructive, but it just won't go away. And I believe many of you are dealing with some chronic issues and, and, and you've tried, you, you, you're searching, you, you're trying different methods to try to come out, overcome that issue. But I want you to know the, the means to which this woman overcame her issue, that same method will work for you and I today. She had an issue of blood. In other words, she had a bleeding in her body that she had gone to doctors and the doctors have made her no better. All they did was took her money, like a lot of doctors are doing even today. You know, you know. I, I thank God for the medical profession, but you know, uh, a, a, a pill never healed anybody. But I know the healer, his name is Jesus. The, and, 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 and he healed this woman, but this woman did some things that activated and brought about her healing. Now, I, I wanna re, uh, reiterate a couple of these verses. It, it says, Number one, verse 27, she heard of Jesus and came in the press behind him and touched his garment. In other words, she heard that there was a man named Jesus that had her solution. And I'm here today to tell you that there's a man, still a man named Jesus that's got your solution. In other words, she, she, she heard of him, she came behind in the press and touched his garment. In other words, she developed a point of contact with the power of God, which was in the very garment of Jesus, in the bottom of his robe, she just felt like if she would touch the anointing and the power of God, it that would even flow through his garment, she would be made whole. And, and I, what I want you to see here is in verse 28. She said, verse 28, for she said, again, she spoke her deliverance. She spoke her healing even before it manifested. She said, if I may, I, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. In other words, you have to start declaring again and again that this issue, this situation is going to depart out of my life. I too will overcome this thing. And you have to say it regardless of what it looks like. I said you have to say it regardless of what it looks like. Because even before the woman got healed, she spoke her healing before it even manifested. 
and it says, she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. So, and straightway, and straightway the fountain in her, in her body was dried up, and she was healed of the plague. In other words, she spoke, and then she acted. She spoke, and then she acted. Because a lot of times, I want you to know, a lot of, in a lot of cases, just speaking won't do it. You have to, when you speak, God in many times will give you a direction. He will show you what you need to do to overcome that issue. And I want you to know, as she spoke, she acted on, she obeyed what the Spirit of God had told her. She touched the, the, the hem of Jesus' clothes, and the, and the issue of blood was dried up in her, and her body was totally healed. And, and, and you, so, you, you see, you have to develop a mentality that God is my source. God will deliver me from this issue. God will deliver me from this circumstance that I have been struggling with. And many of you probably for years. I'm talking about years of addiction. I'm talking about years of addiction, maybe to drugs, maybe to alcohol. And you thinking that there's no solution. I want you to know your issue too can be overcome. But first you got to speak it. And then you got to you got to find where the power of God is. I said you got to find where the power of God is. Either, either in a church, a church that's operating under the power of God, or a minister, or a believer. you got to find somebody that's walking in the power of God. In other words, and you get around that anointing. And what this woman did, she put her faith in the power that was in Jesus Christ. And when she spoke, she touched him, and her issue of blood was dried up. Now, like I said, many of us, we have issues in our life. My question today is, what is your issue? Is your, your issue could be a medical situation. Your issue, your issue could be a diagnosis from a doctor. Your issue could be a family uh, sickness that ran in your family line over the years. But you have to declare in the name of Jesus, I too will overcome this. What, what, what took the life of my ancestors, my parents, my mom, my dad will not take me because I believe in the power of God and I too will overcome this issue of sickness and disease. You got to speak it. You got to speak it. And you got to you got to put a demand on that anointing. You got to contact that anointing. You got to contact the presence and power of God. In other words, and, and, and it'll bring about the healing that you need. Drug addiction, drug addiction, drug addiction is an issue that a lot of people are battling with, especially with this opioid crisis. And a lot of people figure that well, if they, if they get hope, hooked on opioid, there's no there's no hope. Yes, there is hope. I want you to know he's a deliverer. He, because these things are no more than the, the results of evil spirits that enter a person's body through either uh, 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 filling their body or, or drinking alcohol, using drugs, using some kind of prescription. There are spirits that operate through these things. You know, if you, you, know, if you ever go to a, to a liquor store, I remember walking past a liquor store one time and I looked at the sign over the liquor store said, wine and spirits. You know, they said, it said wine and spirits. Why? Because when you go in there, you drink that liquor or you drink that alcohol, you're not just putting that drink in your body. You're putting spirits in your body. And those spirits will cause your body to, to operate in a, in, a, in a crazy manner. It will get in your mind and cause you to say and do things that you normally wouldn't. But it's not so much the drink. It's the spirits that you have put in your body. I want you to know God is a deliverer. And somebody, you looking at this right now, you watching this today, God's going to deliver you from that alcohol. You just had a drink. Yes, you just had a drink. But I declare in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that every spirit of, of alcohol addiction to be delivered out of your body even now. And, and, I, and I do believe that, 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 that God has the power to set you free, to set free from drugs, to set free from, from oppression and depression. And I want you to know this is, this is a major uh, situation that our, our world is operating with in, in, at this time as the, as the depression and the suicide rate it seemed to be escalating. Why? Because people are not seeking the right source for their issues. I want you to know in God is everything that you need. And, and, and the sad part about it, we have a tendency, and I did it also, to run away from what we need the most. I, I ran away from God for almost 30 years, not knowing that I needed Jesus Christ in my life more than anything. And when I came to know Jesus Christ back in 1977, I got delivered from issues. I got delivered from tobacco. I got delivered from alcohol. I got delivered from lying, cheating, stealing, and all that crazy stuff I used to do. In other words, those spirits left my body. And the power of God dealt with my issue. Uh, and, uh, some of you, you may be deal dealing with the issue of, of a bad marriage. I want you to know God can deliver you from that. God can either restore it or bring you the person into your life that will cause your life to be what God has for you. 
and, and I want you to know he is a deliverer from issues. But you, you must turn to God. I want you to know in your situation, you have to turn to God like never before. Cry out to him in prayer and he will give you that victory that you need over the issue that you're facing in your life right now. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this young man. I pray for this young lady right now that's struggling, that's battling, this addiction, that's battling, this bad situation, that's even in a toxic relationship. God, I pray right now that your Holy Spirit will deliver her, will shield her, protect her from the abuse, and God, that she will come to know that you are a deliverer from every issue. And Father, I give you praise right now for what you're doing in Jesus' name and setting people free from the issues of life that Satan has sent to destroy them. My friend, I thank you for watching this today. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it starts by first making him the Lord of your life. And before I close today, I want you to pray this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. I know I haven't been living right. Come on, you got to pray this. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe that he died on the cross and rose from the dead to give me victory over this issue. And today, right here now, I receive Jesus Christ as the Lord of my life to deliver me from this issue, deliver me from this circumstance or situation, and to make me the person that he's called me to be, and one day give me a home in heaven and eternity with him. Thank you, Jesus, for the power of the Holy Spirit that will come into my life, and thank you for saving me. My friend, if you prayed that prayer, God just worked a miracle in you, in your life. Now you have the power and the ability to overcome that issue. I'll be praying for you. And until the next broadcast, this has been Apostle Rufus L. Small, so we love you. I'll keep praying for you. And victory belongs to you as you overcome the issues in your life.